Hello friends, welcome to Ferdinand Tutorials. Are you an undergraduate student passionate about biochemistry? Are you looking for captivating seminar topics to ignite discussion and impact your community? Look no further, in today's video, I listed out 10 best biochemistry seminar topics just for you. You will learn how to research and write your seminar yourself, how to defend and present your seminar topic in front of your classmates and supervisors. And if you follow through all these steps, you will have an A grade just as I did during my time as an undergrad. Let's dive into the video. The first seminar topic to choose from here is mitochondrial disorders and their treatment. Choose a specific focus on how you start writing. Don't try to cover everything. Instead, delve deeper into a specific aspect that interests you, such as a particular type of mitochondrial disorder and its unique challenges, a promising new treatment option and its scientific basis, the ethical considerations of gene therapy in mitochondrial disorder. The next thing is conduct research. Use scientific databases and reliable sources to find relevant information and support your argument. The next is critically evaluate sources. Don't simply accept information. Maybe you go to Google, you copy information and paste. No, assess the quality and credibility of the sources. The next is clearly explain complex concepts. Break down complex biochemical and genetic concepts into terms understandable by your audience. Who are your audience here? We're looking at your fellow students and also your supervisors and other lecturers. The next thing is provide your own insights and analysis. Don't just summarize information. Offer your own interpretation and discussion of the topic. Support your argument with evidence. Cite your sources appropriately and use data and figures to illustrate your points. The last here is maintain a clear and concise structure. Organize your writing logically and ensure it flows smoothly. Now the next topic to choose from here is enzymology and catalysis. As an undergraduate, writing on the topic of enzymology and catalysis for a biochemistry seminar, the specific expectation will depend on your supervisor's instruction and the overall goal of the assignment. However, here are some general ideas to get you started. The possible writing approach we have one summary and analysis provide a comprehensive overview of key concepts in enzymology and catalysis including enzyme structure enzyme function the mechanism of actions and factors affecting the enzyme activity analyze the importance of these processes in living organisms and their applications in various fields like medicine biotechnology and even in the industry also focus on research paper choose a specific aspect of enzymology or catalysis that interests you such as a particular enzyme class a specific catalytic mechanism or an imagined application conduct an in-depth research using scientific databases and reliable sources critically evaluate correct knowledge and present your findings in a well-structured and informative paper the next is comparative analysis compare and contrast different types of enzyme or catalytic mechanisms based on their structure, their function, their kinetics or regulation. Highlight the strengths and limitations of each approach and discuss their relevance in specific biological and industrial contexts. Case study. Analyze a real-world example where understanding enzymology and catalysis plays a crucial role, such as in drug development, disease diagnosis or bioremediation. Discuss the relevant enzymes or catalytic processes involved, their limitation, and also discuss their potential future directions. The next idea is critical review. The next biochemistry seminar topics to choose is computational biochemistry and its impact on the environment. So when approaching this seminar topic, computational biochemistry and its impact on the environment, your specific writing expectations will genuinely depend on your supervisor's instruction and the overall goal of the assignment. However, here are some potential approaches and general pointers to help you get started. We're going to look at review article on specific applications. Choose a specific area where computational biochemistry plays a crucial role in the environment, such as bioremediation, sustainable biofuel production, climate change mitigation, environmental impact assessment. The next is comparative analysis of modeling techniques. Compare and contrast different computational methods using environmental biochemistry, such as Molecular docking for simulating protein ligand interactions in environmental pollutants. Molecular dynamic simulations for studying the behavior of molecules in environmental systems. Quantitative structure activity relationship models for predicting the toxicity of chemicals. Also, analyze the strengths and weaknesses of each technique, discussing their suitability for different applications and environmental questions. Consider ethical consideration associated with using these models for environmental decision making. The next one here is case study on the environmental impact of a specific technology. Choose a technology developed using computational biochemistry with potential environmental implications such as genetically modified organisms designed for bioremediation, new bioplastic materials developed using computational enzyme design 
and also analyze the potential benefits and drawbacks of the technology for the environment, considering potential unintended consequences. Don't forget to propose strategies for mitigating environmental risk and ensuring responsible development and application of such technologies. The next seminar topic here that you should consider writing on is the role of free radicals in human health and aging. When approaching the seminar topic, the role of free radicals in human health and aging, as an undergraduate, your specific writing expectation it generally depend on your supervisor's instruction and the overall goal of the assignment. However, here are some general approaches to write. We begin to look at possible writing approaches. Here we begin to look at review article on free radical and specific diseases and focus on the role of free radicals in, in one specific age-related disease such as cardiovascular disease, neurodegenerative disease, cancer. Also, conduct in-depth research on the choosing disease, highlighting the specific free radical mechanism involved, current research in prevention and treatment, and potential future directions. The next thing there is critical analysis of antioxidant strategies. Now, analyze the various strategies employed to counteract free radical damage, such as dietary antioxidant, synthetic antioxidant, enzymatic antioxidant, and also compare and contrast the effectiveness of these strategies. The next thing there is ethical consideration in free radical research. Explore the ethical concerns surrounding research on free radicals, such as animal testing, and the use of models like fruit flies and rodents, the potential for misleading claims and substantiated health benefits associated with certain antioxidant products. Now, the next seminar topic to write on here is DNA modification for drug targeting purposes. Some possible writing approaches. The first is review article on a specific application. Focus on a particular way DNA modification is used for drug targeting such as epigenetic therapy, gene editing for disease correction, pro-drug strategies, and also conduct an in-depth research on the choosing application, highlighting the underlying mechanism, current challenges, and promising future directions. As a comparative analysis of DNA modification techniques, compare and contrast different approaches for modifying DNA for drug targeting such as zinc finger nucleases versus transcription activator-like effector nucleases, viral vectors versus non-viral delivery system, this Cas9 variant. The next thing there is ethical consideration in DNA modification therapy. Explore the ethical concerns surrounding the use of DNA modification for drug targeting, such as off-target effects and potential unintended consequences, access to this technology and potential disparities in healthcare, and also focus on your case study on a specific drug trial. On to the next seminar topic. Serum calcium concentration is inversely associated with radiographic knee osteoarthritis. I want you to understand that there are two important concepts in this topic. Serum calcium concentration, which is the amount of calcium present in the liquid portion of the blood, and radiographic knee osteoarthritis, which is the degenerative joint disease of the knee, evidenced by scientific changes visible on X-ray. This seminar topic delves into the potential link between the calcium levels in your blood and the development of radiographic knee osteoarthritis. It explores the idea that people with higher serum calcium levels have a lower chance of developing X-ray confirmed knee osteoarthritis compared to those with lower calcium levels. Also, there are other interesting seminar topics that we've not mentioned. We begin to look at transgenic animal production for clinical research purposes, three-dimensional protein structures and their interaction with cell membranes, genetic diversity of hepatitis B virus and its association with disease severity amongst infected individuals attending a community hospital. And the last one, they are exploring the link between genetics and disease. Now, I want you to understand something. Most of the time, your supervisor will tell you what he or she is expecting from you. But if that didn't come, I want you to understand that you should have a scope and purpose guiding the work. First of all, there should be focus. While the topic is broad, you will need to narrow it down to a specific area of interest within the vast link between the topic you're working on. You should have a goal. Define what you aim to achieve with your seminar. Are you aiming to educate your audience about a specific work or analyze the complexity of the work? Also, there should be context breakdown where you have the background which provide a clear overview of the basis of your work, exploration of the link, dive deeper into your chosen area of focus, analysis and discussion, you know, don't just describe the link, analyze it, discuss the significance of your choosing area, its impact on individuals and society, and any challenges or controversies associated with it. Also, you should have a conclusion, summarize your key points, and leave your audience with a takeaway message. This could be a call to action, a reflection on the future of the work you're doing, or a lingering question for further exploration. Additional tip, when you write all these things, consult your lecturer specific instruction and grading for detailed expectations that if he didn't give you anything at the initial to consult him or her later on. Utilize resources like your university library, online databases, and scientific publications for research. Seek guidance from writing centers or tutors if needed. 
to improve your writing style and structure. That's what we are doing here in this video. Consider incorporating relevant visuals like diagram, figures or tables to enhance understanding. Practice your presentation skills, especially if you are required to present work to the class. For biochemistry students in my institution, of course, we present our work. I already have a video prepared for you on how to defend your seminar work. So the link is in the description. I want you to watch it. As young scientists, embracing these seminar topics will not only make your academic journey interesting, to pave way for innovative research and breakthrough discoveries in the field of biochemistry. So let the exploration begin. Want to learn more about carbohydrate as a biochemistry student? Check out the video showing on your screen now.